Hold on a minute. We get deep, all right? Get emotional. I'm ready for any emotions that may happen naturally. <laughs> Are you interviewing Helen Mirren, Leanne? Yeah. She's really nice. Have you met oh, her yeah. before? I suppose you've yeah, met her before. Yeah, I have, yeah. She's very sweet. Um, I, I should say, this movie taught me a few lessons. You, you can't throw money at a problem. Nick Nolte, when he's shaved and scrubbed up, is even scarier than he is when he's <laughs> yeah. not. It's not like it makes him less scary, is it? No, I think it makes him more scary, actually. What was the other thing? And, I think, and, and that the Indigo Girls aren't the only lesbian Simon and Garfunkel out there in the world. So there's mm -hmm. good, good life lessons. But the one that shocked me most was that alcoholism sometimes isn't a good thing. I know. Being from Ireland, I was a bit shocked by that. I'm sorry to break it to the people of your country, Ireland. Alcoholism is not always a good thing. I spent... A long time, 12 years or something, drinking booze, and for me it led to a lot of problems. Now all I'm allowed is dregs. Pure bloody dregs. Look at, do I seem happy? But that, that was one thing that struck me as I watched this. I was thinking of the fact that, uh, you know, now alcoholism is only funny on YouTube when it's real drunk people having oh, yeah, fights on good, streets. But that's not but right. When it comes to entertainment and Hollywood, it's a different time. When you think of Arthur in the 80s, there was a time of excess and, and loads of money and coke added life. And it sort of fit that sort of notion of, of this is the kind of lifestyle I want. Now it seems like we're in a different time. It seems like there's a PC sort of notion of that's actually a disease now. That it's not a party. Exactly, and like, I've had that disease, or I have it, because that's the way we see it in the old recovery from alcohol and drugs, is that it's an ongoing thing. But yeah, you don't have to take life too seriously. Look after yourself. If you've got a drink problem, probably best you don't drink anymore. If you've got a drug problem, don't take drugs. Then, you know, this, I see this like, this is just a fun film. He's only a drunk, so he can goon about, staggering and slipping up and stuff, and say clumsy things. So this is not a comment on alcoholism or economics. Although, if you were to for some reason decide to view it from that perspective, you could say, well, money don't make him happy. But I'm more interested in your point that Nick Nolte is more scary when less a shoot. And as a side note, who would have thought it would be so hard to break an almond? <laughs> <laughs> Just one of those days. I, 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 was, I, I was seeing, the, uh, looking at the um, box office, it opened okay, if not spe uh, spectacular in the US, and straight away there was a certain barrage of articles from Entertainment Weekly and over here in the Guardian and all that about whether, even though you had two movies in the top three in America, you know, is Russell Brand a movie star? Is there, so I don't know whether those sort of reactions because the media need to fill up a lot of space, they, they, they make stories about just about anything now. Whether those sort of reactions give you a certain amount of pause for thought, or whether you feel, well, it's just, I've been in that side of the media, I know that they need to make stories, they need to keep looking at what's going on in the world and, and try to make up uh, an exclamation mark. I suppose it's probably the latter, that people like just need to make up some stories. Because, yeah, like you said, I was in like number one, number two movies, I thought that was a really good thing. But I suppose things could be better, so I'll just try harder till all the movies that exist I'm in them and they make much more money you would have to do the Beatles thing you have to have the top five and then there's oh like, okay, then no you can't complain about that the Beatles were not at number six though what a bunch of assholes <laughs> <laughs> that's what the modern media would have said about the Beatles oh dear yellow submarine they let the drummer sing like you know like sort of just, I don't take, like, there's so many things happening, aren't there? I mean, this is good, this film, Arthur. Go and see it if you want to go and see a film. But there's quite a lot of things happening in the world that are rather, seem rather worrying. Like, right. you know, I don't know, Libya, that earthquake, etc. So I think the newspapers, their job is to relay information. That's what it used to be. But, of course, now we get information in a variety of different ways. All they can do is just sort of panic and fap around sort of saying mad stuff. Mostly about sex and things. But we're in, we're in an age now where the cult well, I can't complain about that. I was always saying stuff about sex. Well, I was going to say that we were living in a time where the cult of celebrity is so big, and, and obviously you and Katie would be part of that. In, in that, you know, you're reported upon just about every move. If you walk to an airport or whether you drop a sandwich, it's 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 news. I wouldn't drop a sandwich. But you've, you've, I learned, won't your, do that. you've learned your lesson. I think we call, we have a wrap. Oh, we got a wrap. Okay, that was cool. That was See nice you, mate. and long.